Hello everyone. This is Ruth Ann Poppin, Director of Music here at Emanuel Lutheran Church in Palatine. Many of you know that we are in the middle of a campaign to raise funds for the repair and renovation of our pipe organ. To date, we have raised $58,000 toward our goal of $78,000. At the end of February, Pastor Acton and our trustees agreed that this month-long renovation project could be scheduled for completion this summer, the summer of 2013. They are stepping out in faith, believing that the remaining $20,000 can soon be raised. So thanks in advance for your generous donations. We're about to take you on an inside tour of the organ chambers with Ray and Martin, two of our organ technicians, explaining some details of rewiring and digitizing our 1970 Wix pipe organ. So hello everyone, my name is Martin Hill. I work for Eric's and Christian Associates, a company that maintains the organ here at Emanuel and has for some time. And I uh, was here to talk to you today about some of the problems that we've been having with this instrument and um, what we propose to do about them. So one of the problems is um, these, um, these little black feed wires are starting to wear out. And you can see here's one that's been repaired before. And um, when one of those breaks off, then this copper thing doesn't get power, so you can't play that note. Um, every pipe has a little magnet under it that makes it play from the keys that I showed you before. And all of that wiring comes together here. And so what the other more serious problem that we've been having is with these switches. And so each one of the draw knobs on the console does that. Off, on, and you can see all of these um, uh, contacts here have to, act, not so much this part up here, but this part down here has to be kind of sharp for it to make good contact and they've kind of worn down to where a lot of times there won't be a good contact, so you'll have a note here or there that won't work, a key here or there that won't work, and it's kind of unpredictable at times. Each one of these has a little sleeve that moves up and down, like so, to make the pipe longer and shorter. And you're moving it just tiny amounts, so we use this little tool, kind of tap it to make it go sharp, and uh, make it go flat. Um, starting out to my middle C. to play them down here. And we have a particular problem here where this note is dead. And it just came back to life, of course, because right. the camera's on. But what that is, it's very intermittent because of those contacts back in the uh, chambers there. And usually once they get going, they'll be fine until the organ hasn't played for a little while. And um, the biggest problem with those is they're unpredictable. So Ruth Ann won't have the sound she's looking for when she hits that particular C sharp. The next time it might be there. And then, so it, we were trying to correct a lot of that problem by just eliminating all this mechanical switching and doing it all with the computer. Reliability factor should increase greatly. 